I've made over 100 videos that have showcased what it's like to live alone and how I deal with it. But even after making those 100 videos, I still struggle with it. This is probably the 100 and something of time I have talked about the topic of loneliness. And every time I think I have finally gotten over that feeling, it always comes back. And unsurprisingly, it always hits me whenever it's around 11 on a Friday night and I'm not doing anything. I'll be on my bed scrolling on Instagram and see people I know going out for drinks or just having a fun time out in the city. Now, before any of you think that every Friday is like this for me, it's really not. But the majority of the time, it kind of feels like this. That's something I never really wanted to admit or say out loud to the world ever. But some of you can relate. And I'm not making this video as to showcase how much of a loser I am, but what I do want to show is that even though it may seem like I have a lot of friends, and even a girlfriend too, I can still get lonely. That empty feeling of being by yourself when you should be with others is something I fall into from time to time. I can't really describe this feeling to be sadness because that's only part of it. It's not anger either because there's no one to be angry at in this situation. It's just loneliness. I'm only human and it's an emotion that I can't really escape. It's an emotion that I have to battle with and eventually beat. But the way to beat it is still unclear to me. Most people think by making more friends, going out every night, or getting a significant other will erase that feeling. However, that has proven not to work. By this point in the video essay, I would usually try to turn it around and say, oh, everything gets better, or a message to find a silver lining in this situation, just like what I did in my previous video essay about loneliness. But that's not the point of this video essay. I'm using this as an outlet to put my emotions into words and maybe make actual sense of it. Maybe by writing these things down, I can actually better understand what this emotion is and eventually learn to live with it. But that takes time. One thing I do know for certain is that writing this video essay sure beats just lying down and accomplishing nothing. Okay, so this is day, I lost track of how many days of doing work straight. It's another day of just doing pure homework and pure project work. It's just, it's getting to me right now. I'm, I'm just feeling really unmotivated and just really like, I want to just be doing other stuff right now. I want to be making YouTube videos. I want to just be doing anything but homework and but projects. But there's nothing I can do. Priorities are academics first and then everything else. <sighs> Getting burnt out. Anyways, I'm going to the dining hall right now because gotta keep my promise to you guys, no matter what. So, dining hall. Alright, done with the dining hall and now it's time to work. As of recently, I've just been feeling so stressed and it's just like, it's killing my mood entirely. I just can't, I, I, I just don't feel happy. Just because I'm so overwhelmed with everything right now and just can't focus on anything right now. And I haven't hung out with my friends for a long time. So I've just kind of been cooped up in my room doing nothing. It's kind of feeling like how it was during season one of the vlog where I was just in my room constantly, not really connected with anyone. It's kind of feeling like that again. And I hated that feeling. And it's starting to feel like that again. But I got to push past that and just persevere and just get some work done. I'm here for academics, not anything else, just academics. Okay, so I just wrapped up some of my, all of my work basically for today and I am in the mood of all moods. It's one of those moods where I feel helpless and I don't really know like what I'm feeling. It's a mood where I feel like I feel alone and just isolated right now. And I know that's a pretty normal feeling for me just because I have spent a lot of my time alone and this is no new feeling to me. I, I know what this feeling is, but I don't know how to express it in the way I want to. And I think the best way of approaching that is just, you know, making a video essay right now. So. I'm gonna try working on that because I actually have a video essay I wrote, uh, I think it was like around 
the beginning of the semester and there was like a time where I actually felt like this right now and I want to release that finally just because I'm feeling that mood again and I was hoping I would never have to release that again just because I hate feeling like that. I don't know what that feeling is but maybe if you guys can relate to it. Um, I don't know but I'm going to start working on it now. I'm going to work on the audio. It's going to be a very raw video because I don't want to like get too fancy with it but it's just going to be the more raw thoughts and emotions. So I'm going to film the audio right now and that's where we're going to go. Yeah. this video essay around like the beginning of the semester like I said and this was during a time when I was just feeling super isolated and alone like how I'm feeling right now I don't know why I was feeling that way at the time but I just know this is what I was feeling and it's still spot on to what it's going through I'm still going through right now it sucks feeling like this way just because sometimes I don't really even know what to say to express those feelings, I'm kind of just lost and just stumbling over words and just trying to do whatever I can to figure out these emotions that I'm feeling. But other times I know exactly how I'm feeling and I can just perfectly write it down. But with this certain feeling of loneliness, I just don't know. I would normally just deal with this emotion if it was like back in high school or even freshman year by just doing nothing about it. I would just curl up in the ball and feel hopeless. And that was super unhealthy. And I would never want to do that again, but I still do from time to time where I just feel like there's nothing else I can do but do that. But as of recently, I've been able to turn that pain into art, I'd say, and really make use of that feeling and not just let myself wallow away and feel hopeless and just complete garbage. Because I think by doing that, I made myself feel worse. and. Every time I did that, I would just wait for the feeling to pass away and that would suck. But whenever I am able to write everything down and actually turn this feeling into art, I'm able to get over it faster and I'm able to understand myself better. So by doing these little video essays, I get a better understanding of myself each time. That's why I don't really release too many of these video essays because I only write these video essays whenever I feel something that I can't really explain or something I know how to explain exactly. That's why there's not too many of these videos that I release. And I know that these videos do relatively well on my channel, but that's not why I make them. It's I make them because I want to make them and I would not be making them if I wasn't feeling it or if I've been half-assing it. That's not it at all. They're just my pure raw thoughts and emotions. I think the only reason I can really pinpoint why I would be feeling like this right now out of all like the times would just be burnout just because I've been working so hard on so many different things and so many different projects and it's starting to hit me and I've talked about this before in so many different videos but I feel like that'd be the only reason why I'd be feeling like this right now so that's my my theory but if I figure it out I will let you guys know and you guys will know because I'll update it with you like as soon as I figure it out on this vlog so yeah Anyways, I am gonna wrap it up right here for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. It's, you know, another talking video. A lot of my vlogs have been like that. It's just me yap, 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 yapping, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you tomorrow. All right, bye.